welcome once again to a special episode of the Rural Jur Brewery Tour. Well said. Thanks, I'm Jay. I'm Seth. This is Pete. Say hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. And Pete is the head brewer at TWB Brewing in Kitchener-Waterloo. Together, we're bitter. Indeed. Yes. Always have been. Always have been. Even without you. Well, but then we're not together. Tell us about the brewery, Pete. Uh, we've been in business uh, open for six years now, uh, since February of 2016, I guess. Good math, math, buddy. Good math. We are a small local brewery. We don't have LCBO distribution or anything. Uh, we are also a cooperative. So we have uh, right now seven uh, worker owners that were a worker owned cooperative. Uh, so seven worker owners, I'm one of them, and also the head brewer. So why TWB? Why are you bitter? Uh, bitter is just to play on uh, beer words, hops, and part bitterness. Uh, it's a play on together we're better. We are also together we're better, but together we're bitter. So we'll unlike play us, on that. together we are. You guys are not bitter. We are not bitter together. All right. So tell us about what we're going to start with. Uh, so this is Birds of Beasts. So this is our sort of gateway beer. It's a blonde ale. Um, so when we were brainstorming names, we came up with a few. And somebody, well, it was a thought of birds and bees. It was a tie in with bees being to go to bee and birds being faster. So it's not the sexy version of birds and bees. It's sexy, but not in that way. I guess we'll find out when we <laughs> yeah. drink it. And the ABV yeah. is 5%. 5%. Yep. When I look at it, it's the pale yellow, and it's very clear, like crystal clear. Yeah. Totally perfect clarity on it. So well done on that. Thank you. Uh, when you poured it, I saw there was significant white bubble head on it. Yes. But that's dissipated since, yep. of course. I get bread, a little bit of biscuit. Yeah, yeah some nice malts in there. The bitterness is, hits you right away, but it's not overpowering, it's just nice and smooth. Lots of malt coming through. The finish is just a nice medium finish, it's not super dry. It's just, just did the job. Yeah, yeah, really crisp finish, nice and dry at the end. Yep. And the bitterness comes through, but it's not overpowering. No, not at all. This is a great gateway, you're exactly Thank right. You. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well said. I could not, I did not say it better myself. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Ooh, that's very nice. Yep. 
how growth reaches up thereafter and even just kind of swells. Crescendo, so it's a rope. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of the rye can sometimes impart a little bit of a tiny bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, which I'm getting a little bit of right now. Mm, getting some toast on that too. Yeah. Quite a bit of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Standard IPA, right? The West Coast? Yes, yeah, sort of. No, it's not. It's kind of in between everything. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not a direct West Coast. It's not a New England IPA. Uh, on our label, it's labeled as an American IPA. Would this be more of a crossover IPA? Yes, kind of. So there's a number of things about it. Uh, there's a very low, relatively low IBU level or bitterness level. Uh, so we are around uh, 28, 30 uh, in the IBUs. Okay. Um, most of the hops are added in very late in the boil, in the whirlpool, and dry hops. So there's very little upfront goodness on this one. Okay. This is not exactly to style. It is an IPA for sure. There's no question about it. But it doesn't fit in nicely to the other little IPA subcategories. And innovation doesn't happen in categorization. So there you go. Well said. Six and a half percent in here. Yes. Yeah. 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 I really like the color. Yeah. It's just a beautiful honey. Got a bit of a foamy head on it. A little haze to it as well. So sweet on the nose. Yeah. And you get the, the hop? Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plenty there. But that sweetness just kind of carries, cuts through for me. Yeah. yeah. But earthy hops, it's not super juicy. It's not uh, It's not really high pine. It's just no. kind of a, a nice mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like the caramel finish on that. You get hit with the hop right away, of course, yeah. and that caramel coating of the tongue, yeah. uh, hint, giving the hint of sweet, and now that follow through of the dense bitterness. Yeah. Love it. Classic IPA characteristic. But, but the finish is really clean. It doesn't. The bitterness is way at the back or at the top of my mouth, but, but the rest of my mouth is really nice and clean. Yeah. It's not, not overly dry. It's not overly sweet finish. It's just a nice, clean finish. Yeah. And yeah. so many of the East Coast style IPAs, the finish evaporates rather quickly, or it, it just leaves a hint of sweet. No, this has that long bitter tail that I really enjoy in a lot of the beer that I have, and the hoppiness is present, but that hint of sweet on that caramel yeah. tongue kind of plays really nicely in counter counteracts it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it is again, it's not the country in the face bitterness. No, from a lot of West Coast IPAs. It's a really approachable and yet well defined IPA. Well. Yeah. And again, it's, if people want the country to taste bitterness, that's fine. There's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That is too small for a West Coast IPA. Mm -hmm. But some people lump all IPAs into that category. They generally don't like IPAs because of that. Yes. And this is not that. Exactly. Yeah. That way. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Thanks for having us here at TWV. 
thanks for coming. Ah, it's, it's been a, a lot of fun. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching the Rural Dur Brewery Tour. Well said. Thank you. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And say bye, Pete. Bye, Pete. Make sure you like and subscribe below. And make sure you go to the website, ruralgerbrewerytour.com. You get all the past episodes. Buy us a beer. There's a beer blog. At twbbrewing.com. twbbbrewing.com. Visit us. Yeah. See you next time. See ya.